Now to a News Channel exclusive on an exercise therapy that is showing promising results for people with Parkinson's disease. And News Channel anchor Scott Hennessy joins us live in studio with a look at neuroboxing in Santa Maria. And this sounds really interesting. We should say up front that no one is taking any punches in this <laughs> boxing class, but they are all fighters. There is no cure for Parkinson's disease, but there's no quit in this group that's using it to improve their quality of life physically, mentally, and socially. All right, let's go! No one is ready for a Parkinson's disease diagnosis, but together this group has chosen to fight back against the degenerative neurological disease. I've made really good friends with these people. They're, they're good, strong, willing to fight for their lives kind of people, and they're my kind of people. Cindy Schubert has been punching back against Parkinson's disease for more than five years. She was one of the first to join the class run by April Sargent. All right, fingers to your thumb, one at a time. They have to push themselves hard. They have to push past their limits. 87-year-old Ernie Salazar has also been coming to Neuroboxing Santa Maria for more than five years. He says he's never been in better shape. I used to shuffle and fall, and she's, I give her a lot of credit for getting me to this stage. Whole body, get your whole body into it. Every exercise Sergeant runs the class through has its purpose. All right, here we go. Toe taps and high knees help get feet off the ground. Big punches keep arms moving. Boxing improves core strength, which supports balance, something Debbie Wilkinson struggled with. I always feel better after I come. I always, you know, it's, it's, it's just a, it's a joy to come. Like many in the class at the Marion Health and Wellness Center, a doctor recommended she sign up. I thought I was going to lose him. Brenda Miranda says neuroboxing helped stop her husband Pete's rapid physical decline from Parkinson's. She says the 72-year-old can do things he couldn't do before. Tying his shoes, buttoning his shirt, he has more confidence, his posture's better. It's improved almost in every area. Sometimes it's the smallest thing that's like, oh, you know, that's the most amazing. Besides her family, Sargent says teaching this class is the best thing that's happened to her. Insurance doesn't pay for the exercise therapy. She has special training and certifications and runs the program as a nonprofit, charging a small fee and never turning anyone away. It's just really a blast. Like, I love it. Anybody of any type of neurological disease should be in this class because you're socializing, you're interchanging ideas, and you're, you're doing it together. I never give up. I can't imagine spending my later years sitting in a chair and not able to move, and that's why I fight for my life. I don't want that to ever happen to me. There are similar classes around the country that have been going on for over 15 years. One local neurosurgeon cautions against viewing this as a major breakthrough for Parkinson's patients, but says it can be a tool to help patients feel better. Beth and CJ, there's some early research that confirms that. We've linked to it on our website, and it's certainly the case for the people I spoke to in Santa Maria. What a great, great story. story. So inspirational. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, Scott.